I am extremely humbled and grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making today possible. This is a day that will resonate in my mind as being a new chapter in the history of the new Niger. I'm grateful to all the people of Niger State for entrusting me and my deputy, Comrade Yakubu Garba, with their mandate to serve for four years in the first time. With effect from this historic day, Monday 29th, May 2023, I am your governor and Yakubu Garba is my deputy. Let me begin by assuring all Nigerites that your overwhelming support and love of our party and all progressive Congress throughout the campaign and your votes during the 2023 election will not be taken for granted. As we are here to serve you, and I will be your governor for all citizens of Niger State, irrespective of religion, ethnic, socio-economic background, and political affiliation. I stand before you today, not only as your governor, but also as a team leader in the collective task of rebuilding our dear state. Laying the strong foundation of good governance, this requires that we remain focused, committed to our shared values and development aspirations. In doing so, we must be mindful of existing development gaps, the challenges and sacrifices needed from all of us to build a new United States. Inshallah. For you today with the humility and a deep sense of responsibility that the confidence reposed in us is not misplaced and we shall not work irresponsibly. I have no doubt that this, by, the, by the special grace of God and with your cooperation we shall achieve remarkable milestones beyond expectations, inshallah. We shall be dutiful, diligent in implementing pro programs and projects that will add value to lives of the people. We will be ambitious in setting our goals, taking into cognizance the deficit in our development, while we appreciate the fact that ours is a state with abundant resources, human and natural, we must act differently to maximize our potentials. In other words, it cannot be business as usual, rather it should be business unusual for the greater good of all. Our goal is simple and clear, to serve the people of Niger State with the fear of God. We sincerely appreciate your enthusiasm and support to our, to our party by the people and have taken serious note of all submissions from different quarters. We shall create an enabling environment for everyone to feel the positive impact of policies of government. We assure you of transparency, accountability, physical discipline. This shall be our watchwords because we know the importance. We also understand the expectation of the people but we have no doubt in our capacity to deliver, inshallah. We have chosen to do things differently 
we must be prepared to leave our comfort zones if things must get better. Let me quote the iconic founder of Singapore, Lim Kuan Yew. A nation is great not by it, by it alone. It is the will. It is the will, the cohesion, the stamina, the discipline of its people and quality of their leaders, which ensure it a honourable place in history. Let me at this juncture reiterate to Nigerites the pillars of our campaign promises and our policy initiative which will be fulcrum of development agenda of our administration. In other words, we shall pay serious attention to the following. One, security. The most compelling task ahead of us is to tackle insecurity. With the insensitivity and urgency it deserves, security is a serious matter as enshrined in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999 as amended, that the primary purpose of government is security and welfare of its citizens. As such, we will pursue this in all its ramifications. Therefore, we shall boldly defend the constitutional talent, tenants and ensure that the security will be given premium in our administration. We shall collaborate effectively with security agencies at the national and subnational levels to combat crime and to ensure safety of lives and property throughout the state and beyond. Two, education, science, and technology. My fellow Nigerites, our administration will pay adequate attention to the, to the development of education, science, and technology as the backbone of our aspiration. We will therefore make education the centerpiece of our development agenda. Our educational policies will focus on revamping the sector to provide qualitative, affordable, and accessible education, including special interest in girl child. We shall also address the challenges of basic education make it free, compulsory, as enshrined in the Universal Basic Education Act. We will also bring innovative ideas on how best to reposition our secondary schools, especially the science and technology schools in the state, with the aim of revamping technology, technical sciences, and vocational education in public schools to check the rising level of unemployment against the youth. We also have a special interest in revamping our tertiary institutions in general. Number three, agriculture. We, as a state, we are agrarian sitting on 76,000 square kilometers of arable land. This is our asset. We shall cultivate all this land for the purpose of agriculture so that we can all be employed. Our agricultural policies and interventions will be geared towards improving the value chain in agricultural development to boost productivity in crops, livestock, and the fishery for wealth creation and employment. Number four, 
Number five, Thomas. Fellow Nigerites, we believe that if we improve our ease of doing business and provide favorable incentives and interventions, we shall attract more investors to Niger State. Niger State has all it takes to become the business destination of choice. We shall vigorously, responsibly pursue counterpart engagement opportunities with various development partners. Third reason. Ladies and gentlemen, invited guests, in our deliberate effort to harness the development of our potential in tourism, we have a well-articulated tourism master plan for the state. We have identified some local government area districts, towns and villages that will, dis that will be designated for tourism centers. We will make Niger State the country's tourism destination, inshallah. We don't go in airports and investment in Gurara Waterfalls, Shaguna Beach Resort, among others. Civil service. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the civil service remains the engine room of government and will witness tremendous reforms that will engender professionalism, productivity, effective service delivery. We determine to transform the civil service through capacity building, reward system, penalization mechanism to promote discipline in service. Fellow Nigerites, a lot needs to be done for our health sector. We will convert Shuru Hotel to IBB Specialist Hospital. IBB University Hospital, among others. And now, a lot needs to be done for our health sector. We shall invest in health henceforth. We will enhance, to enhance effective, efficient, accessible, affordable healthcare delivery system in the state. We will look critically into the immediate challenges of basic primary healthcare delivery and general hospitals across the state. We will also address the issue of inadequate manpower in our primary and secondary facilities in the state. Infrastructure. We shall remain, we shall, we shall mainstream public-private partnership, PPP, into our infrastructural development program to ensure us attain quantum leap in the provision of housing, roads, rail, and aviation. It is also gratifying to note that deliberate efforts will be made to revive the state's urban and rural development master plan, in which priority will be given to the provision of potable drinking water. As we leave this venue, we have a police station in Chencha that is sitting on our pipeline to mark it for devolution. We will provide portable drinking water to all our citizens is a must. And we make all necessary arrangements to have constant supply of electricity in Niger State. We cannot be warehousing for Jenkos, for hydropower dams, and we don't have electricity. It's over. We must have power to the council. with the Federal Ministry of Transportation to construct a standard gauge rail track between Mina and Abuja, inshallah. During this period also, we will pursue the activation 
of Baru Port for his economic important determination. We are going to complete the three angel project for the benefit of Nigerites. The executive legislature, traditional institution and judiciary. Fellow Nigerites, we open a glorious new chapter in the history of our state. As a legislator or a former one, we shall strengthen the relationship within the three arms of government. Ensure each arm of government is independent and very independent. We will also, we also understand the role of traditional institutions. Bangladeshi, we are going to involve the traditional institutions in governance, inshallah. Revenue generations. Dear Nigerite, it is unfortunate that this part of diamond, we are battling with poverty, economic malaise, and perpetual dependence on the federal allocation. We are determined to change the narratives, inshallah. We also acknowledge the tremendous roles of our development partners and your various contributions in the state. We are aware of all existing partnership and obligations between the government of the United States and our good selves. We shall sustain and honor all our obligations there. Local government administration. We have in our campaign promises promised gender inclusivity. Going forward, we shall make all council secretaries to be female. And after the next council election, we'll make sure all the vice chairmen of all the councils are also women. We shall ensure accountability, transparency in local government administration. In doing this, I will transfer all the powers to oversee the local government ministry to my deputy. So Mr. Deputy Governor, you are also the chairman of the local, overseeing the local government administration. We will review the challenges of work development initiatives and strengthen the framework for the efficiency at the micro level so that people can participate in the development of their communities. Women and youth. Niger must work again. The youth will work again. We are going to create the Niger State Facility Management. We are going to revamp our technical vocational training centers. We will employ Nigerites, very strong youths, and determined to work in all the vocational preoccupation to bring pride to Niger State. We will operate an open door policy for youth inclusivity. 90% of our cabinet will all be youths. We will mobilize our local resources to reduce poverty and ensure the attainment of the SDGs. We will also partner with well-meaning individuals and corporate bodies through their social responsibility in building capacity as well as empowerment for women and youth. In conclusion, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, from the foregoing, we have made ourselves clear about our social contract and shared vision for a new United States. 
I assure you that the transition committee report and the roadmap that I received a few days ago are comprehensive and robust enough to guide our successful people. Permit me, therefore, to appreciate my predecessor for overseeing a seamless and peaceful transition to the new administration. The beauty of democracy is transition from one government to the other. Similarly, I extend my sincere gratitude to the outstanding men and women who worked in the transition committee over the past six weeks under the distinguished chairmanship of Dr. Suleiman A. Indanusa, OON, and his co-chair engineer, Mustafa Bello, FNSE, and Comrade Yahubo Garuba for a job well done. We will, carefully, we will carefully study the report and diligently execute the recommendations therein, as we promise to be transparent, accountable, methodical, methodical in our approach to the issues, while evolving meaningful and practical solutions capable of propelling economic growth and shared prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, this address will be incomplete without special tribute to the following great people who have significantly impacted in my life. First, my father, late Elijah Muhammad Mustafa Tekno, the brother I didn't pay to. And my dearest mother, late Haji Aisha Muhammad, may their souls rest in al Jannah Fiddaus. The former president of Nigeria, General Ibrahim Badamasu Babangida, GCFR, my fatherly figure in Niger State, thank you for your support. The former head of state, General Abdul Salam Abubakar, GCFR, my predecessor, the Arguin Governor, Alaja Abubakar Sani Bedlo, my senior brother, and my friend, our Arguin Deputy Governor, Alaji Mohammed Keto. Thank you for being a brother. And your lovely wives, Zuma, and baby, and uh, excellence. My Deputy Governor, my confident and loyal patriot, Comrade Yakub Garba, and your wife, former governors of Niger State, His Royal Highness, Mala Awal Ibrahim, late Dr. Musa Inua, my late uncle, may he so rest in peace, Engineer A. A. Puri. My senior brother, Dr. Miles Babangida Aliyu, G-O-C-O-N, and indeed all former military administrators who serve in this state. My special tribute to His Royal Highness, Dr. Yahya Abakar CFA, Chairman, Niger State Traditional Council and coordinating chairman, National Traditional Council of Nigeria, and all the traditional religious leaders in Niger State. Bagadush. All other emirs here present, thank you very much. Members of the National Assembly, my colleagues, my friends, you have come here in thousands, in your hundreds, your families, I cannot appreciate you enough. God bless you. <laughs> Members of the State Assembly, going, former, and also elected, thank you for your support. <laughs> this address would not be complete without 
recognizing a very special Niger light. My senior brother and fellow contestant, Alaji E. Saliman Kantigi of the PDP for his exemplary sportsmanship with his symbolic call in the wake of my victory. I appreciate you immensely. Members of my campaign team, inauguration team, and the entire members of the National and State Working Committee of our great party, ABC. To my dearest and lovely wife, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your tolerance. Thank you for your love. Thank you for looking out at my children. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will continue to bless you. To my amiable children, Marwan, my best friend, my mama, Aisha, and Amal, and Yazid, my daddy. My siblings, the Baradi of Nupi, Bahakwempa, Yayatu, and the host of all of them. My nuclear and extended families, friends, and well wishers across the country and beyond. You, the Nigerites. I stand tall today to tell you that this is your mandate. You made this history. I cannot thank you enough than to pray Allah's one at Allah to continue to provide me with wisdom to cut out for you. Let me also use the occasion to once again congratulate the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Senator Bola Ahmed Tunibu, GCFR, the Vice President, His Excellency Senator Kashim Katima, and all governors inaugurated today. I want to specially appreciate the support I have gotten from the beginning from my bully brother, distinguished Senator Sani 313. Thank you very much. You have been so nice. My friend that I will stand with any time, Honorable Mukhtar Betera Ali, thank you so much. You have been a good friend and a host of all of you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I call on all Nigerians to rally around the support and support the president the Vice President and all elected officials in our collective resolve to build a new prosperous and united country. Members of the National Assembly from Niger State, most especially, thank you very much. I attended Marafa Primary School here in Mina. All my classmates, especially my headmistress, Haji Atalatu, thank you very, very much, and God bless you. My colleagues from FGC Joss, you came in your hundreds. My classmates from Usman Danfodio University, from Ambrose LA University, from University of Calabar, from FUT Mina, from the prestigious Cambridge and Harvard, respectively, Thank you for honoring me, and God bless you. I call on all Nigerians to rally around this and support the president, the vice president, and all elected officials in our collective resolve to build a new, prosperous, and united country. We have a date with destiny to banish poverty, ignorance, diseases, corruption, and summon the hydra-headed insecurity in all its ramifications. Finally, let me appreciate my Fulani people and my inter-tribal people. 
You have shown love. Thank you very much. We will work together with you to protect our forest, inshallah. Finally, it is important at this juncture to commend the Independent National Commission for its commitment to ensuring that our democratic values are deepened and strengthened through the electoral process. Let me conclude with the quote of Abraham Lincoln, second inaugural address in 1865. With malice towards none, with charity for all. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your support. God bless you. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And God bless the United States. <laughs> I'm going to